Let's take a look at how easy it is to do time series analysis in Tableau, whether you're looking at daily numbers, running totals, or other calculations. Here we have a database of Superstore sales. I can simply drag the order date out into the view and I can see sales by year. If I add customer segment to the view, now I can see sales by year broken down by segment, all with a simple drag and drop. I'm going to duplicate my sales field and let's go ahead and look at a running total. With a quick table calculation, I can easily see that the corporate segment is performing the best over the last few years. And let's do one other calculation to compare these periods. With another quick table calculation, I can simply look at the percent difference from period to period. Now I'm going to change this to a bar chart and let's start drilling in. Time of course has a, an implicit hierarchy and we can take advantage of that in Tableau with a click. Now I've expanded my chart from years to quarters and, and I can expand again to months. I can take quarters off and now we have years and months. I can even expand into the actual day level. Now I've got a daily analysis of all my sales over a number of years. And if I drag off year and month, I can see trends throughout a month for a given year. There doesn't seem to be a real trend throughout a month. Again, this is over all the years and all the months. We're simply looking at day level data now. Perhaps there's a seasonal trend. I'm going to change from day to month. In this dialog, you see all of the options available to you with the Tableau date hierarchy. Now looking at month-by-month -month sales over a period of years, I can actually see that there's a little bit of a seasonal trend. And I'll add a reference line to make that more clear. I'll choose to define that reference line on the average sales And you can see, in fact, that May and June tend to be very good months, and at the holidays, the sales tend to be lower. That's not surprising. This analysis is done with discrete dates, but Tableau can handle continuous dates as well. What does that mean? Let's take a look. I'm going to create a new sheet, and again, let's add order date and sales. But this time, let's look at all values. Now you can see a value for every day that we had sales. I'm going to go ahead and add customer segment to color again. And let's again get a running total of sales. I simply do that by duplicating the sales field and choosing a running total. Now you can see that in late 2007, the home office segment actually overtook the consumer segment in total sales. That may be due to the recession in late 2007. Oh, that's 2008. Now instead of percent difference, let's look at a moving average. Since this data is highly detailed, a moving average might give us some additional insight. I'm going to go ahead to the table calculation and do a quick table calculation on moving average. Then I'll go and edit that table calculation and I'll do it over the previous 30 days, which is a typical, typical kind of table calculation. I'll do it at the date level. And now you can see that 30-day moving average by segment. These table calculations give you very, very powerful ways to compare dates and work with dates in Tableau. Let's turn labels on for selected points so that we can browse around this data a little bit. Now I can see that I had $52,000 of sales in the home office segment and the running total of those sales was about a million dollars at that time and the moving average was about $6,000. What if I want to take this running sum of sales and configure it to start again at every year? That's completely possible in Tableau and quite easy. Again, we'll just edit that table calculation We'll do it at the date level and restart every year. Now you can see that running sum restart with every year. 
Let's go back to the last view simply by hitting the back button. And now we'll add a filter to this view because I may not want to look at all of the data since 2007. Doing that is as simple as dragging the order date to the filter shelf. I'm going to tell Tableau I'd like to see a range of dates, maybe a range of years. And I can simply click the years that I want to see. Now I can change that filter to all values. And I get more flexibility in my date dialog. Perhaps I want to see it from June of 2009 to June of 2011. You can see the view update. And I can show a quick filter on the view, giving me a little bit more flexibility directly with this sliding filter. Those are absolute dates. I can change these also to relative dates. We don't have any data for today, but I can look at data for the last three years. That's how dates work in Tableau. It's all drag and drop, and the implicit date hierarchy from days to months to years, and even into time, is understood implicitly by Tableau. It makes it very easy and powerful to do date comparisons and time series analysis.